Hello everyone, my name is Roy, I'm the guest designer enthusiast and I want to talk about Geometry's Valley for H&M. The campaign pictures as well as the product pictures together with the pricing dropped yesterday. So if you're interested in that, I made a video form of the entire price list together with the product. So you can just sit back, uh, enjoy the pictures that are coming, uh, sliding on the screen and then afterwards you can just have a look like, what do I want to get? And you can just scroll through, easy manner, no advertising, good for you. Today I'm going to be talking about the campaign pictures and uh, I have to say that compared to the product pictures, uh, the campaign pictures uh, switched my mind on certain products. So I hope it will do that for you as well. So to make that decision, if you want to get something or not, just basing off the product pictures is kind of stupid, I'd say. Um, so have a look at these campaign pictures uh, that they dropped. Uh, I also used to put a thumbnail from the previous collection so that you might be recognizing them or you have looked them up yourself. I'll tell you what I expected it to be and what I think about it now. You can share your opinion in the comment section down below as well. So the black parka was something that I was like, wow, this is going to be a black parka. Then I saw the word print and I was like, I don't know what this is going to be. I saw the back print and I thought it was really, really random. When I saw the park pictures at first, I didn't know where that like old fashioned painting look was coming from. But now that I see this arm, this guy is totally rocking this jacket, by the way. It looks amazing and I really want to get this. This is on top of my wish list. Um, it just looks really cool and this is 180 euros which is really good but I have to say that this is only a shell of a jacket. There's no inner lining. There's uh, I think it's just a rain jacket or a windproof jacket and that's just good I th I'd say because I was looking for something like this and all of a sudden it gets in this collection um who could have guessed i mean this was just something i needed uh for when it's winter i want to wear thicker uh um clothes and sometimes i just get so bulky in means of the clothing and the thick sweaters that i can't wear any jackets of mine anymore unless i wear that um like vintage uh, cashmere cape because that allows me the room but it's still kind of suffocating so to have a really big uh parka jacket like this only a shell which gives you a little bit of worth but not too much so you don't overheat when you're in a train when you're in a city when you're shopping um it's just fantastic and for what it is 180 euros i'm totally fine with that that's on top of my wish list for this year on the right side we see a pearl necklace i also kind of like that but the closure of that is gold and i don't really like that because all my accessories are silver color or silver material and i just don't want to match the gold and the silver uh i'd replace that because i was like they have to do a pearl necklace like they did um on here with the uh, crew neck this thing was priced really reasonable so uh i figured that they had to do something with that necklace um and they did and it looks really good as you can see in this picture right here together with the black shiny jacket i didn't really like the double breasted at first but it kind of grew on me right now only the prices would keep me away from this because I won't be wearing this as much. And it's really, really extra coming from the guy that's wearing a uh, jacket made out of belts. Um, it does look fantastic. The fit is awesome in this. Um, only downside I'd say about this is the pants are jogger material. I mean, the cuffs are elastic. Um, that automatically gives me a feel of like, this is a jogger. And yeah, I don't know. That might just not be something for me. Yet again, if I can get a good prices, maybe on aftermarkets, I'll definitely get it. No worries. And this is just Erna for H&M sweater or hoodie. Um, but this time with the Jumpsy Stefali for H&M uh, logo. Um, these pants are totally not what I expect them to be. And I have that a lot with this collection. I expected it to be a little bit more like this. So I can understand why they wouldn't do it. This is for the uh, Magella for H&M collection. Um, and I can totally understand why they wouldn't do the same. Uh, I thought it would be quite nice, but now that I see this and that picture, I don't think it'll match at all. Um, I think it's a dark blue uh, together with a white. And as I see in this picture, I think I just don't like the materials that they used this year. Um, the black dress looks cool, uh, yet again, uh, I don't know how wearable that is. I'm not gonna say much about the women's stuff because I just like the men's stuff a lot. And there's not something from the women collection I don't know, yeah, there are a few unisex pieces, but that's basically it. So this jacket reminded me a lot of the Balmain for H&M collection. I uh, together with the leopard prints, uh, yet again, really out of nowhere, I think, the leopard print. And the embroidery, when I first saw the all the product pictures, it was like a mixture of previous collections. 
not from previous collections from John Tista Valley, but previous collections from the guest designer collections. I see a little bit of Beaumont and a little bit of Erdem uh, in this leopard print. A lot of tiger stripes reminding me a little bit of Kenzo again. Um, these shoes are pretty cool. Yet again, I don't wear black shoes. Again, tiger stripe jacket or zebra. I really don't know, animal print jacket. Um, yet again, the fit is fantastic. Not the print, not so much. Uh, the pants, black stripe on the side, not something for me. Immediately cut out that of my um, uh, wish list. Uh, not that I was gonna get an animal print, but the stripe automatically just ruins it for me. It looks like it's really unisex because it, it looks really decently well styled on both uh, men and women. Um, Red and things, leopard uh, faux fur coat is really good. 200 euros for that. Um, yet again, I think I would never wear something like that. Uh, I can totally understand for um, for people who do like animal prints um, and the stuff that's underneath. So like the sweat um, suit, basically. Uh, it, I think it's just like a printed material uh, because all of the pricing, I thought it would be denim. So I put them, I think, higher than they are. So it's like, I don't know the exact pricing out of my head yet because the price uh, list dropped yesterday. You can look that up in my previous video. Um, I just don't think the materials are what I expected them to be. And that's just unfortunate because I had a few of this collection. I was like, okay, I could get this, I could get this, I could get that. But because of the materials used and that the prices are lower, I'm kind of skeptical about what they are or what they look like. Um, again, the jogger part of the pants don't look so bad on women, but I think it just looks a little bit cheap on men. Uh, together with that jacket um i didn't see it together yet so i hope i might get surprised there this leather jacket looks pretty nice clean but it's 200 euros so i don't know what materials they use for that and i just say leather i don't know if it's a leather look or not i, I really don't know i haven't seen the product uh, descriptions yet earring pretty cool and uh the faux fur um uh, mixed color faux fur leather look i think again uh, because the jackets or coats are not the most expensive thing from the collection uh, this year. Uh, there's like a really, really shiny uh, leather look part there that I really don't like. So I really liked it at first, but it didn't come to meet my expectations. What I really do like are the stockings for women. That's something really unique, reasonably well-priced. Well you can get something unique from the guest designer collection. You can show it off in a really unique way because I don't think they do enough things that are unique at different parts of the body. So that's just great. Absolutely great uh, that they do that. And they have it in two colors. Uh, yet again, I don't know the pricing yet, but that's just my pick. Uh, my favorites are just Parka, maybe the Pearl necklace. That's it for this year. I might get things on aftermarkets for better prices. I might um, get one try to um, uh, try the uh, shiny suit on so I'll definitely if I can if I'm able to make some recordings of that show you what it looks like uh, but I don't assume that I'm going to be keeping that I'll at least try to get it um, and maybe I'll return it I, I, I'll see um, so what do you guys think um, did this meet your expectations did you uh, get some new uh, insights in the collection or did you change your mind about an item that you totally want to get now or totally don't want to get anymore uh, this is just a few pictures there's a lot of stuff online don't want to use everything um that's just it i was just going to talk about jumps to valley for h &M, uh until the collection drops which is pretty soon uh i just hope to see you guys in the next video again let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys next time see ya